Hey, what's up everybody, Danny here, and I wanna share with you uh, something today that's really going to help you uh, become a, more efficient with uh, not only your time, but more productive in your day. Now, one of the biggest traps that people fall into and in, in my conversations with other uh, entrepreneurs and, uh, and other people who are just looking to optimize their uh, the time that they have in their day, one of the biggest things that, that keeps coming up is is distractions and you know habits and it's one of those things where you know we've been we've been conditioned over time to essentially uh, behave a certain way um, through the use of mobile technology through the use of uh, social media and and through a lot of other different things uh, that can really vie for our time and um, I don't know about you but one of the biggest problems for me over the years without me really knowing was social media. And then when I became aware of it, uh, it, it started to become more of, okay, well, I know it's it's a problem, but, it, but it's not really that big of a problem. So I really was kind of in denial. It was a slow progression until I actually utilized a tool, which is the reason I'm sharing with you my screen today, a tool called Rescue Time, which really enabled me to uh, go back and look at my usage over time to see where I was actually spending all of this time. And it's actually it's actually scary to look back at it because it shows exactly how much once you've been recording your your history and your usage history over time, how much you've actually wasted. Okay? Now, I know there's there's some debates some some people might say, well, you know, sometimes I'm on social media because I'm trying to uh, you know, I'm trying to build a business. And that's okay. You know, you definitely want to you want to batch some time into social media. Thing is, you don't want to be reactive, and you want to plan for it. Um, breaking the hab bad habits are are a, basically is a hard thing to do. And so, uh, really analyzing the way that you use social media is going to help you determine whether or not you need to step back from it a little bit more. So one of the things is is that most people think that they are being productive on social media when in fact uh, it's not really quantifiable. And so what I mean by that is people are engaging. They're posting stuff. They're they're engaging with other people, and whether it's politics, news, or or even on, on online business um, or whatever sort of pr things that they deem pr pr productive. Um, but, uh, you know, how, how do you measure that? And that's something that you really can't measure as far as your return on investment unless, of course, um, you know, you have uh, a group of paid members say if you have a membership site and your your members are you know they're they're paid customers and they're looking for content so in that case you know you want to be producing content and, and you know engaging with with your communities um, however uh, you have to be very aware of how you are you know you're using these platforms so that's something that just um, you know is a constant uh, you know constant process as far as optimizing and making that more efficient. Now, uh, I will say that um, looking at my usage history over time, um, which what we're going to do right now in just a minute here, I'm going to go over to, let's see, my yearly. Uh, I'm going to basically take a look. Uh, we're in the we're at the beginning of the fourth quarter and of 2017, but I'm going to show you just you know, a, a sneak peek at my last year's social uh, media usage. And, you know, one of the things that we're going to find is, you know, exactly how many hours uh, and minutes, according to rescue time, I've been leveraging social media, or I would say using social media. Okay, the reports look like it takes a little bit of time to, uh, to generate here. It's a lot of data, but um, might just cut this out. Okay, so uh, we got 2016. I, I've spent out of the year the, about 1,700 and change hours um, logged into the year. And we've got social networking at 290. If I drill into that, I can get more details to say, okay, 290 hours and 15 minutes, which is 17% of the time that I tracked. Uh, and this is only for my desktop usage. Um, for my my desktop or laptop usage that I have rescue time connected to that is tracking this behavior This doesn't account for mobile and you got to keep in mind most a lot of the times We're on our mobile devices these days. 
So you can imagine that this number is actually much more than 290 hours. Okay, so if you you know if you can do the uh, the basic math uh, basic math here, let's say uh, yeah, I have my calculator right here. Okay, so if you can do the basic math here, we've got 290 hours, and let's say we divide that by uh, by 52 weeks in a year. Okay, so that's about five, an average of, let's say five and a half hours a week on social media. So it doesn't really sound like it's too bad for me. And I know for me, like actually last year, I really decreased the amount of um, just my, my, I guess you could say mindless engagement versus productive engagement. And it's really kind of hard to, again, quantify that. But uh, I, I speak to that by basically... Um, the, the, the number one rule of measurement that I use is, you know, is my wife yelling at me, <laughs> you know, if I'm on my phone too much or if I'm on, on, uh, you know, social media too much. Um, and that's, that's definitely, it helps when you have someone that, that can remind you when you don't have that, you know, these tools definitely are going to be, you know, something that's really going to help you. So five and a half hours, uh, a week on average, um, which, you know, if you divide five and a half divided by, you know, five, five days, say five, so let's say you work uh, only Monday through Friday, which we know that's not necessarily true. We work a little bit more than that, but I spent about maybe an hour, I would say an hour a day on Facebook. And the truth of the matter is it's actually more because again of that social media usage. So I probably spent about, uh, my guess would be around two hours, um, one to two hours a day on Facebook. And, you know, while that might not seem a lot to you, um, just think about the things that you'd want to do in your life, you know, other than um, work or, you know, be on social media. Say that you want to get back in, in shape, you want to exercise, you want to, um, you know, take a, a little day trip with your family or, you know, visit a friend that you haven't seen or a family member you haven't seen in a long time. I mean, you can do a lot with two hours, you know, <laughs> you could definitely do a lot with two hours. Um, out of your day to dedicate to something else um, in the real world that you could be doing. Now, I'm really focusing on social media here just because it's been such a big um, thing for me. To, it's actually been a hard habit for me to break because of the interconnectivity of how, uh, you know, how, much, uh, how much time you spend you know, with engaging with other people. And as you do this over time, you sort of have this, uh, this virtual connection to the social platform to see what people are up to, 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 um, to, to comment and, and to be AKA social. Um, but at what cost? I mean, if you're looking at, if you, if you think about some of the role models that you see online in, you know, say in, in the online business space, you know, are these people on social media? Are they engaging a whole a lot? Are they posting a whole lot? And depending on who you follow, that answer will vary. But I know for me, uh, the people that I follow, and I'm not going to name drop here, but um, but the people that I follow in the online uh, business space, uh, they're they're not they're not uh, constantly posting things on Facebook. They're not constantly commenting. I think that's that's even more more so. They're not constantly commenting back and forth on posts. Um, and, you know, some people say, well, that that's actually a bad thing because, you know, you're not engaging with your community or you're not, uh, you know, being a real person. And that's, I think that's far from the truth. I think, you know, being a real person is actually, you know, going out in, 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 in real life and going to, to in-person events and, and connecting with people or, you know, doing charitable stuff, charitable work, um, you know, really, living in the real world. Now, that's not to say that, you know, you, you can't be on social media and the people who are actually that I look up to and, and admire from their productivity uh, stance and, and how they actually use social media is that, you know, they schedule things in advance. So they're using scheduling tools, online scheduling tools to schedule their posts, um, to schedule any sort of content um, marketing that they want to put out there. And then they're strategically 
strategically engaging with other people when it comes uh, to timed launches, if they're launching a product or a book or, you know, whatever it is that, that, that they're doing, um, because they're being very, very efficient and very, very strategic and focused on protecting their time. And I say this time and time again, because protecting your time is the, the number one uh, leverage uh, that you can tool for our strategy you can use for, for really optimizing your own lifestyle is by focusing on what's important to you. You know, why are, what is important to you? When you wake up and during the, the day, every day, why are you doing what you're doing? So without getting on a tangent here, it's just that's the focus that you need to have and the reminder, the constant reminder that you need to have with yourself when it comes time to, um, when it comes time to making those decisions on where you're going to spend your time each day. Um, breaking away from social media is not easy. It's hard and it takes practice. And, uh, you know, it, it takes doing things like using rescue time to take a look at your usage, right? To take a look at how you are using uh, these tools and, and how can you improve and, and identifying gaps and, and other triggers that may cause you to uh, fall into this habit of using it more and more and more. Now, my, no, my, my iPhone is something that I have on me a lot and it's a knee jerk habit, you know, just to pick up my phone and just to check the status. Well, here's the thing. You know, you, you can start to look at that and break that down into saying, well, maybe I'm not going to leave my phone in my room when I go to sleep. I'm going to leave it in the living room or leave it somewhere out of my, my, my sleeping area so that I'm not checking it first thing when I wake up and wasting 30 minutes to an hour. And it's, you know, it sounds shocking and surprising, but it's true. You can blow through 30 minutes in an hour just by waking up and checking social media or your email or whatever distractions you have on your phone. Okay. Um, so these are just some, some quick tips that you can uh, take, you know, try looking at in your little life and seeing how you can improve on them. So anyway, I hope this video helps you get a better understanding of how social media can fit into the productivity of your day and how you can take a look and optimize and improve your own uh, usage in your life. So thanks, and uh, if you have any comments, please leave them below the video. Uh, I'm always looking to produce and provide uh, actionable videos and tips and strategies that can help you become more productive and, uh, and lead a better, more healthier and happier lifestyle. So uh, take care and I'll talk to you again soon.